be with me. The guy's wandered off. Ugh. What a numpty. Supposed to be supporting me, not running off killing ghouls. Who are the bad guys? Is it Brad Roaches? Ants? That's the first, I've not seen the ants. Oh, man. I should be wasting grenades on these buggers. <laughs> the ragdolls in this game are brilliant. Oh, that's cracking. <laughs> uh, I hate that. Shotgun pellets, nice. Oh, well, the shotgun's good. Right, I think when we've killed all the bugs, we shall uh, move on. How powerful is this? Close range, we shall see. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Again, the gore for this game, that's 14 years old, is pretty cool. Much better than some of the games I've played. Well, very recently. I'm going to play, I think, uh, I'm not going to do commentary all the way through. But I'm going to go, I think, after this, I'm going to go um, and start the, uh, the quest for the Rangers. And that should get me to a camp in a golf course, which. Uh, I heard about, so we're going to try and do that. That's uh, so another mention done. Ranger Jackson will give me some more stuff to do. Hopefully, I'll sort out the misfits as well. So I did watch a video about the misfits, but that looks like a good, good storyline to follow. Some training. It wasn't totally in depth, but you know, it leads on to other things. So we're going to do that. This uh, video has been totally edited down for two hours. It's 40 minutes long, this. <laughs> Crazy. Arthur is selling the bloody loot. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supply. I meant allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not going to come check. So here you go, just between us. Appreciate the help. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. Hey. Place Camp Guardian. So this this looked kind of interesting. I saw it from uh, across the way earlier. So it's obviously a mountain, a mountain pass. I'm going to climb it. If it drags too long, I'll. Cut some of the footage out. That's what I have to do with these videos. Otherwise, people are watching three hours of me just exploring. 
No one wants to watch that. We get to the juicy bits. Me shooting or failing to kill beasties. I really want to uh, explore this area. Let's see. Scorpions and stuff. This weapon's pretty good. You're mine. You're mine. Eat this. Eat this!
Oh, thank God. I didn't think I'd ever see another human face down here. Thank God. I hoped someone would come eventually, but where are the rest of your men? Shit. Do you have any damn idea what lives in these caves? We need to get out of... We need to go now! I don't know, some kind of man-fish freak like the one I killed over there. I'd heard fishermen spin old tales of lake lurks swimming in the water. I always thought they were just bullshit mermaid stories. Thanks a lot, Doc. I think I should be able to walk out of here now. I don't want to risk running into a pack of those freaks alone, though. Could you escort me out of here? Are you crazy? No way in hell am I going deeper into those caves. You haven't seen what they did to the other troopers, and I'd rather not find out why they took all the bodies. Great, just leave me here then.
Well, well. Looks like we cleared them out. Damn inbred mutant freaks. I think I'll start heading back to California now. There have been way too many catastrophic NCR foul-ups around here for me to risk my life by sticking around. If you find my friends, please return their dog tags to the NCR. People need to know what happened here. If they won't listen, do what you can to make them listen. The dead need to be avenged. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't waste any time. Thanks for watching this far. Jesus. Anyway, this cave system was pretty cool. Those enemies, a couple of hits and you're dead. Definitely end game enemies, aren't they? Gonna just take big chunks out of you. Well, I have two followers. You get lost in here. This is worse than Silk Peak Mine. Silk Peak Mine was a nightmare. Here we go. In the helmet. Missed that, I think. Right, let's get out of here. We have to uh, report soldiers then handing the tags as well. So we're going to do all that. But probably in the next video. Because I think this whole bundle of quests that are kind of roped into this uh, NCR thing storyline is uh, kind of numerous so it could be a long video. I don't want to solve all the quests you know in, in one completed video. It'd just be too long wouldn't it? Crazy. Be careful, don't start a really long quest. Wow, hey, it's you. What are you doing in Bitter Springs? If you've seen half the things I've seen out in the wasteland, I can't say I blame you. I might be able to help with that. All right, there you go. And don't complain about the taste. Yeah? What is it? Well, one thing we do have is a good... Just stand still and try to ignore the tingling. Yeah? What is it? I'd love to help you out, but I'm pretty strapped here as it is. I really don't have anything to sell you. Stay safe out there. I've been sending requests for relief for months now. Didn't think they'd send you, though. It's a distress call. This camp is in bad shape, and if we don't get relief soon, I don't know what will happen. At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. We need more troops, fresh supplies, and medical relief. As if that wasn't enough, someone's been coming out of the mountains at night, stealing supplies and picking off my people. Food, blankets, clothes, tools. The army used to ship out caches of supplies regularly. 
But with the Legion so active, we haven't gotten any in months. It started about six months ago. At first it was just supplies going missing. We figured it was refugees. Then people started dying. Always a single bullet to the head. Always from extreme range. We've lost eight refugees and three soldiers to this son of a bitch. We know he must be hiding out in one of the caves up in the mountains. But I don't have enough men to send out looking for him. I don't know. The NCR's stretched thin as it is. I've put in requests at Camp Golf, Forlorn Hope, McCarran, but things are no better there. Maybe if their situations improved, they'd have men to spare. Or maybe they'd listen to someone with a reputation for helping the NCR. You'll want to talk to Lieutenant Markland about that. He's our medical officer. He should be down at the medical tent now. Okay, but make it quick. I'm very busy here. Good luck. Hey. Yeah? What is it? Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Caravan companies are probably your best bet. Smaller traders aren't likely to have anything that esoteric. Thank you. Any help you can give would be a godsend. Are you kidding? The supplies in this are going to save lives. Thank you. These will be a big help. Thanks. Stay safe out there. Oh, hell. What is it now? Who the hell are you coming in here asking me if I can spare any? I don't hand out NCR troopers to anybody who wanders out of the wasteland. Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hotspot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. 
These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. I suppose so. Sorry, this isn't your problem. I shouldn't be going on to you about this. Yeah, whatever. Hello. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Great to see you. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am. Or they ain't gonna listen. Whatever you think's best. They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. You did? Does that mean you're gonna help? Okay. Toodaloo.
We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on... What you want, Holmes? Like I said, you get the juice, we'll cut loose. My man Jack at Red Rock Canyon got the goods. But listen, once you get folks dosed on Psycho, ain't a lot of room for much else. So if you got any other plans for bulking up the Misfits crew, might want to see about them first. Whatever. We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I ought to give him a shot. Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the Boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Right. And that. We Glad to see you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. Okay, I'll be here if you come to your senses. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. Hmm, you're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. To what purpose, it's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Wish I... Howdy, great to see you. I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we got to do, though. Toodaloo. Glad to see you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Please, 
Camp golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. Yeah, I mean, no, they're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Sure. See you around. Hello. Howdy. Great to see you. Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Toodaloo. Hello? Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Well, their test scores are only marginally improved, but I'm hearing good things about the Misfits' teamwork. After what you did getting my Misfits whipped into shape? Yeah, I could spare a couple boys for Bitter Springs. I'll issue the dispatch orders. Yeah, whatever. 